What's going on guys? This is Aaron from Spade. You haven't seen much from me in almost a month, I feel like. It's been a little bit. And the reason being for that is me and the family caught the Rona. Ever since it came out or happened over here real bad in March of 2020, we have been really good about not getting it. But my kids started getting sick from school uh, and they were like, hey, they cannot come back to school until they get a COVID test. Here's where we need you to go because these people work directly with the school. So that's where we went. Me and my kids stood in line uh, to do this test. They take it and I realize that these guys are not sanitizing the pen that these people are using to, to sign their name and fill all the paperwork out. That's the only pen. I didn't bring a pen. So I use the pen. I, there's no wipes, no nothing. I don't have sanitizer in my car or anything like that. So then three days later, well, we come home three days later. We do it on a Friday. Monday, I'm feeling like absolute garbage. I'm running 103 fever, sometimes 103, three and a half. Full body aches. Just absolutely feel like I got steamrolled. My kids are still doing okay. Mild fevers, like 99s. But I am taken out of the game. I was fully stuck in bed for the first week and a half. I did get tested. I was confirmed positive. I didn't develop any issues breathing like some people did. I might have, but it wasn't to a degree to where I was just like, oh man, I need to go to the hospital. But for me, the big issue that I have is I actually have a, a bad heart. Congestive heart failure runs in my family. The entire time that I was stuck in bed, I was having major, major heart pains, along with the body aches, also the muscle aches. Uh, one of the things that I deal with a lot because I'm physically active, but I'm not, you know, in great physical shape, is anytime I do a lot of heavy lifting or anything like that, my muscles get heavy, especially in my pec area, and I feel like it's my heart, but ultimately it's just the muscle structure here that's really sore. I deal with that a lot. Uh, so I wasn't sure if it was heart, heart pain or that. Uh, fairly confident now after the fact that it was heart pain. <laughs> Not good to just leave that alone, but I was fairly confident that it was heart pain after the fact. So, but a lot of the other issues I was having was I couldn't stand up for more than 15 minutes tops. I couldn't be up and moving around. I literally had enough physical energy to get up, go to the restroom, go back to bed. That was the entire energy I had. I had no, no hunger. I wasn't hungry. My wife was trying to force me to eat and I would take one or two bites and I was done. And then I'd go right back to bed. There was several times where uh, I would take a shower and I, I like to take warm to hot showers. Uh, but I would take a shower and I would wind up nearly fainting in the shower uh, to the point to where I'd have to have my wife come help me uh, out of the shower because it was I was about to go down. One, one time in particular was really bad because uh, I, I did go down. <laughs> it, it was kind of scary, but I didn't black out, but I did actually fall down and she had to come help me out. But it was not an experience that I would recommend to anybody. I was the type of guy, I was just like, ah, oh, this shit's fake. You know, I, was, I wasn't really like tinfoil hat, but I was just like, everybody's blowing this out of proportion. You know, it's just like the flu, blah, blah, blah. But then it, it turned out that both my son, my youngest son and my youngest daughter got it. And my wife actually got it as well. But it's really weird. I had the worst of it. My kids, it didn't take them out at all. They were still uh, outside of, they're like, oh, I'm, a, I'm sore, but it didn't take them out. They're like, they were had their same energy levels. They had their same eating habits. 
my wife, she got sniffles, a couple headaches here and there, but didn't take her out. That, that Rona stuff, it tried to take me out big time. And I was worried. There were several times where I was laying in bed and I'm just like, this is it. This is how I go. So, with that said, I know it's got the same symptoms as the, as the flu. You might not trust the government, trust the process, whatever. Uh, but if, if you're running a fever, you need to go get checked. Uh, because I was, I was worried. But with that, with all that, all you being caught up, uh, content wise, I was putting stuff up here on TikTok here and there, uh, just to try to stay a little active. Uh, cause the second and third week I was starting to get a little more mobile. I am finally now able to talk after a month. I'm finally now able to talk without coughing nonstop. One of the things that a lot of I've never heard, but it's very true, and I have to tell this to everybody. One of the worst parts about Rona is the phlegm. The after effect for me and my wife is some of the thickest mucus I have ever had in my life. There was plenty of times where I was trying to just hawk a loogie up just to get it out, out of my throat. And I wound up almost choking so bad uh, because it just wouldn't come out. It was stuck. <coughs> it was just stuck and would not remove itself from my body. And it was, it's some of the thickest crap ever. And I still have it. Not as bad, uh, but I was nonstop coughing. The COVID cough is a thing. That thick ass phlegm. Oh, it's terrible. But uh, I finally started resuming content other places like TikTok, uh, uploaded a couple of things on Hover. If you're a gamer, that's basically like TikTok for gamers. Then uh, put a, I finally washed the car. I gave it a much needed bath because there was just tons of rain and dirt and just muck on it. I, uh, I haven't updated on YouTube, but I did update on TikTok before I got, the, got Rona. I did some changes on the wide body we'll go over that in this video uh, just so you guys can actually see it basically I just added some gasketing and changed the hardware out because I wasn't happy with the hardware that we originally picked but streams have resumed on twitch so for those of you that follow me for gaming stuff streams have resumed on twitch only guaranteed days are Friday nights Saturday nights around 10 p.m. central time we recently were playing the Rainbow Six Extractions on PC Pretty fun game if you have a solid group. It's pretty enjoyable. And then Dying Light 2 comes out Wednesday, so we'll, we'll probably be hopping on that as well. So, all said and done, content will resume. In terms of the car, uh, I'm not sure what all we're going to be doing on the car. I don't have many plans. I have to replace the window regulator in the rear here. Big surprise, it's an E39. I just replaced the passenger rear and their left driver rear goes out. So big fucking surprise. So, and I did put this wheel on, which YouTube hasn't seen. I probably, I'll show that in this video. Uh, it's a Momo R1908, a real Momo uh, R1908 on the car. So there's that. And that's really it. Not a whole lot of stuff uh, to do to the car here in, soon it's dirty i need to i really need to clean the interior like wipe it down it's kind of eh. but with that said let me go ahead and pick you guys up i'm gonna pick the microphone up it's probably gonna make some contact noise and then i'm going to tighten you guys back down here because for whatever reason my microphone doesn't oh you're like pointed right at my face i'm sorry guys Do i have any booger see a couple all right Tighten the microphone back down. All right, so with that said, oh, I, was, I hit spot focus. Oh, spot focus me. Woo. I'm going to have to get out to show you this wheel. Okay. Whew. All right, so that's the wheel we got. That's the R1908 Momo. 
can see. Pretty nice. I'm gonna go ahead and change my f-stop here because we're about to go into the sun. Change it to f5. I'm actually going to turn the microphone around. Any fucking day now. Alright, so this is what we did, body kit wise. So we added the gasket that you can see right here. And then I took the original hardware that we had in and I switched it out for the Downstar stuff because I wanted something that, would, that wouldn't that would fade in the sun because a lot of the other hardware I had was already bronze. It was bronzed or uh, just fully silver when originally it was black. So, big truck passing me. Golly. Jeez, guys, holy shit. All right, so, uh, I forgot where the fuck it was, what I was saying. All right, so we switched to Downstar because I wanted black and something that was quality anodized so it wouldn't fade because my car is in the sun a ton. Uh, so these front ones, you can, you can see they're already kind of turning purple. And yes, my body kit fenders have those low, low spots there. That's from the guy that cranked them crank the kit down on my car. Unfortunately, I can't do anything about it. The only time I can do something about that is whenever we redo the kit and mold it. But, uh, this is the other side with the gasketing. And I do like how it came out, gasket-wise. And the down star. And passenger fender. You see the gasket. So it definitely worked out. And I'm filming this in 24p for the more cinematic stuff. So, but one of the things that I really liked about doing the gasket on this on uh, this part is this actually had a lot of chips in the top. You can actually kind of see one right there, right here. And that and the gasket actually hides a lot of that. I'm glad I did that. And gasket on the driver's side. Now the kit's gonna, I did make some decisions on the kit. It is gonna wind up getting molded. And we're going to ch color change the car. Whenever we color change the car, we're actually gonna wind up uh, changing the color of the car to the, that BMW Techno Violet. So it'll be a purple color, but that's it on the car. Ah. Let's go ahead and turn this back down so you can see. Move the microphone. Oh, my mic came unplugged. How cool. I'm so glad I spent money on this shit. Alright, so apparently my microphone came unplugged during some of that. If you couldn't hear it, I apologize. Alright. So, I'm holding the microphone now. But, uh, so with that said, that's where the car is at now. With, uh, the fenders, the gasketed hardware change, the Momo wheel. I do need to take the car to get aligned because it has yet to be aligned after readjusting the ride height for the wide body. So there's that. So once again, guys, that's the update. I am feeling much better now and content will resume just in what form, whether it's gaming or uh, gaming or car related stuff. I'm not sure, but it will resume. So thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you on the next one. You guys have a great day, and go get tested.